you take care of business, so let us take care of you. The corporate wellness program offered through the Cushman Wellness Center at Chart Memorial Outpatient Pavilion can help you reduce health care costs. For more information, visit www.sharp.com forward slash Cushman. Samuel Adams Beer and Mesa Distributing congratulate all participants of this year's Crew Classic. Mesa Distributing, distributors of Samuel Adams Beer. Lots of pasta. Lots of pasta. In addition to all of your old favorites, Lots of Pasta now has whole wheat pasta. Come see us in the Bond Shopping Center. That's right up there on Garnett. Lots of pasta. We'd like to mention once again that within an hour after the race is run, you can get a DVD of the race that has uh, been run the hour before. They have all the exciting action and some of the sidelights that go on in today's Crew Classic. Stop by the merchandising tent and pick up your DVD copy. It's only 12 bucks. So Sporty has a giant, gigantic bargain bin. Unisuits, jackets, shorts, t-shirts, and more. Come by and do some rooting, rooting through these great bargains. Prices as low as just one buck. So Sporty also has a line of clothing just for women. Come on by and check out our new products. Let us know what you are looking for, and we can help. Concept 2, come test your balance on their new prototype at the Concept 2 booth. And another one of our fine sponsors, Cloud9 Super Shuttle, San Diego's transportation solution, Cloud9. Aloha! Pick up your paddles and head to Mission Bay for the Maui Gym Outrigger Challenge, Saturday, April 26th. No experience or equipment necessary. And all participants receive complimentary tickets for the Wells Fargo Luau, complete with food from the Kinds, beverages, Hawaiian entertainment, and more. For information, visit PacificLifeHolidayBowl.com. The Maui Gym Outrigger Challenge and Wells Fargo Luau, a Pacific Life Holiday Bowl production. of the seasons, so we've developed styles of beer to accompany that. We brew Oktoberfest, Winter Lager, White Ale, and right now, there's Summer Ale. Samuel Adams Summer Ale is a flavorful wheat beer. It has a very nice spice note. It has a little lemon zest and a historic brewing spice called Grains of Paradise. It's citrusy. Lemon. Flavorful. Refreshing. Wow. Sam Adams Summer Ale. It's just something about it. It's like, totally reminds you of Summer Ale. <laughs> Have you ever thought, hey, it's only one piece of trash? Well, what if stormwater pollution affected you directly? The truth is, stormwater pollution affects us all. Don't let karma get you. Think blue.
okay, everybody. We have alignment. lightweight final. The Slack Rowing Club did not make it to the start line, so lane six is vacant. All crews have got away cleanly, and the crew in lane two, Oakland Strokes, are really cranking it. So it's lane two, Oakland Strokes, followed by LBRA in the early lead. As they go through the 100 meter mark, all five crews are overlapping each other but Oakland Strokes are really sprinting away and they're leading out Long Beach and Los Gatos. On the far side, Capital and NorCal seem to have been caught a little bit by surprise by the speed, initial speed of the crews inside them and are falling back as they go through the 250. It's Oakland hanging onto their lead, but Los Gatos are coming back at them and Long Beach are hanging onto them. But all three of these crews have left NorCal and Capital, and now there's a length, there's clear water to NorCal and Capital behind the first three. As they come down to the 500 meter mark, it's Los Gados pushing through Oakland. Oakland Strokes had a terrific start, a terrific early lead, but they may have paid for that. And as they crews settle into their race rhythm, it's Los Gados who seem to be inching past Oakland and Long Beach are inching back on Oakland as well as they come through the 500 meter mark. It'll be interesting to see who goes through first. It's bow ball to bow ball. And as they go through, Oakland just get there ahead of Los Gatos, but it was only just by the width of a bow ball with Long Beach in third, very closely behind, and a second boat race happening at the back of the field between Capital and NorCal, and it's NorCal in front of Capital as they go lead to the 500. We are working on the women's junior lightweight final and looking at our lane assignments once again, Los Gatos is in lane number one. Our current leader, but just barely, is Oakland Strokes in lane two. Coming out of lane th uh, three will be Long Beach Rowing Association. Lane four finds Capital occupying that area and NorCal is working down lane number five. Our call at 500 meters was Oakland followed by Los Gatos Long Beach Rowing Association, NorCal, and Capital. Apparently, the three leaders have some open water over our trailing crews of NorCal and Capital. Through 750 meters, it continues to be a battle between Oakland Strokes and Los Gatos. They are in lanes two, Oakland Strokes, and one, Los Gatos. And then looking to lane number three, Long Beach Rowing Association. And then there is some open water going back to Capital and NorCal. Oakland Strokes got off to an outstanding start. They were ellipsed for a short period of time by Los Gatos, but then at the 500 meter mark, the Strokes put their nose across the 500 meter mark just barely and held a slim lead. Right now, it appears that Long Beach Rowing Association is beginning to move up a little bit on the outside as Los Gatos is dropping back. Oakland Strokes continues to be on the lead on the far outside, it appears that NorCal 
and Capital are four and five. There were six crews scheduled in this particular event, but Zlack, for whatever reason, was unable to answer the starting gun and is scratched from the race. So we only have five, and it looks right now like Oakland Strokes and Long Beach are battling it out. Los Gatos has fallen back a little bit. Then on to the far outside. It is an interesting little boat race, albeit for the final two positions between Capital and NorCal. Oakland Strokes inside 750 meters to go continues to hang on to a slight lead. They are being challenged by Long Beach Rowing Association and Los Gatos. Los Gatos in lane one. Long Beach out in lane three and they are both shattering uh, shadowing the Oakland Strokes in lane number two. We have open water back to NorCal which seems to have nosed in front of Capitol. We are approaching the 1500 meter mark. And the Oakland Strokes challenged early have now gotten back into the swing of things and appear to be on the lead. And then it's pretty tight between Long Beach Rowing Association and Los Gatos. Looking out to the far outside, as I mentioned earlier, we have an interesting go between NorCal on the far outside and Capital just inside them. Oakland Strokes on the lead. Los Gatos seem to have picked it up a little bit and now beginning to run a bit of a challenge along the shoreline. Long Beach Rowing Association is choosing to go with them. We have open water back to Capital, which now seems to have nosed in front of NorCal in that little interesting race at the back of the pack. Oakland Strokes beginning to be challenged once again by Los Gatos along the shoreline and Long Beach Rowing Association seems to be a bit spent. This is Oakland Strokes. And Los Gatos seems to have the momentum on the middle of the field. It is Long Beach Rowing Association, where at the back of the pack, Capital is once again nosed in front of NorCal. Looking with 100 meters to go. Oakland Strokes trying to hang on. It is Los Gatos coming on hard along the shoreline. And outside of them, Long Beach Rowing Association. This could get interesting at the finish line as Los Gatos has been closing ground consistently since about 750 meters to go. It's still the Oakland Strokes, though. They got off to a good start, and it looks like that they just may prevail. Oakland Strokes unofficially look like our winner with Los Gatos followed by Long Beach, and yet to finish would be Capital and NorCal. Very, very interesting job. Oakland Strokes got off to the early lead, but they were shadowed almost all the way down the course. At mid-course, Los Gatos made a run at them, and uh, as a matter of fact, was just barely behind there for a short period of time. But Oakland Club had a little bit more and is our apparent winner of the women's junior lightweights. These next two races are not on your printed program. They are carry forwards from earlier in the day. And we're looking at the men's collegiate novice petite final. It is Orange Coast College in lane number one. Notre Dame is in lane two. The University of California, San Diego will be coming out of lane three. Sonoma State occupies lane four while UCLA handles lane five and Santa Clara.